warm welcome to the beautiful, picturesque St. Scythians College. For the moment that we have all been waiting for, our Easter Festival Roadmap Odyssey begins at one of the founding fathers of the Easter Festivals in South Africa, St. Scythians College. We've been waiting for this moment. There's been a couple of weeks building up to this very festival, and here we are finally primed and ready and set to witness the next great South African rugby players come through North Cliff that's got that first kickoff and we'll get another one here and deep into Clifton territory and Luke Hammond the hooker will look to feed let's see how many jumpers they have up they get it right to the center of that through their captain Frank Devonish who's up there they're trying to get that mall going now Perhaps the first try of this year's tournament will be a more try. But now the scrum, he says they want to use it. Keep on going forward. There's a powerful drive there amongst that forward pack. Good optimism about their play here, Rep. Goez an advantage the way of the North Cliff side. So perhaps we may just see the first score. They've had a good drive and a good look about them here early on. Here's a little pickup by their forward pack. They're still trying to get over. Now on that other side, it's Rema. It's picked it up, the right lock, and there it is. It's the first score of the 40th edition of the Saints Festival, and it's North Cliff. That's off the mark early. Not even two minutes of rugby have been played yet, Simon. A warning that they will use brawn and muscle to uh, get over that uh, score line as quickly as possible. This is Matthew Hunt right on that 22 meter chalk. Oh, he struck the right side of the sticks and the first kick won't go right in between. It won't be a two pointer, but good play by them. It must be said overall. And there's that replay. Here's Simon. the replay. Yeah, here's the replay. Look at that position, exceptional position. And then that uh, forward march by the forwards it looks like uh, Luke that also did a lot of Luke Hammond that did a lot of work there Tyron Cruz as well oh, and that one's stolen. stolen so well at the line out points by Clifton and they get their first share of possession now at the Saints Invitational this is Carl Ackle and they'll go nice and out now to push Northcliffe back a fullback squandering back as well no that's a wing ally Luke Ross who will return one of his own kicks to the winger, the pacey winger of Clifton Wandile and Gubani. Can we see some legs? Good passing of the ball there. This is the inside center. Oh, this is good movement. The overlap is definitely there as well for Clifton. But isolated there is the youngster in jersey number 20, Jamie Brown. Now comes the outside center. A couple of meters now. They're inside that 22. And this looks optimistic for the first time from the KZN best side who didn't win a game at last year's Saints Easter Festival. So they'll be looking to change that this year. They still have the possession of the ball. That's their big eighth man. And Desam Tembu, that's picked up there. The big forwards putting their hands up at the moment for Clifton. Inside center once again, Bryce Besslar powers forward there. And the defense of North Cliff quite resolute at the moment. But Clifton more than happy to take the phases, phase after phase. <laughs> and they a couple of meters shy now. Pick up and go, and it's surely over the line, and the referee in agreement. It is the first score for Clifton as well. This is not too much of a challenge for the kicker. Gets the two pointer nice and easy there. Good height on it, although he's. Simone, it usually rains then at these yeah. um, Easter festivals. I can recall in 2022, heavy rain on day uh, two remember. here. We had to move uh, the games from this main field here to be played at one of their fields at, at the top. So hopefully that stays away for the duration of the festival. But this is good, good, good scrum. scrum there wow. by, uh, Clifton and it's Andy Tembu that's catered on the blind side. The eighth man sees that little bit of a gap and runs into it. Now, this is Bryce. Best law, very involved in the early stages is the inside center and they're within 22 meters once again 
no what Cliff will have themselves to blame for that. They're the ones to kick the ball directly into touch, warranting a scrum in the center of the park. And Cliff didn't want to move on that. Kyle Akau is moving it rather quickly. Oh, Sabonge Gianni with a handoff there. The hooker, very agile, the forward. It's picked up by Nchangashi again. He oh, and they're over. No! They're over, they're right. over again, Clifton. And it's the eighth man, Andisa Mtembu. They're celebrating yeah. there. Wow, they've sneaked that one just under the noses of North Cliff. Let's see what Nchangase can do now. There was uh, Loazima Digizela there, the try scorer. I beg your pardon. And that is another successfully converted two points so by Ganyiso Nchangase. At uh, the uh, poles, uh, two, uh, twice with uh, penalties and one conversion. So it could have looked differently, but nevertheless, the scoreboard says 14 for Clifton and 5 for Northcliffe. Northcliffe have everything to play for, as oh, they do at the this moment. This is and he's going on here. That's a good run there by the general number 10, the fly half. Wants to make up for some of those moments in that first half. This is Katanga. And they're inside 22, which they've been a couple of times. They're able to get into the face of the opposition quite quickly. That they haven't struggled with. It's become crossing that line at the final point for Northcliffe. That's been their Achilles heel thus far. Hunt is ready for the first receiver pass. And now there it goes to Luke Hammond, who's just coming on now. The hooker started on the bench, was set to start, but they went with a different one up front. Now, Miguel Smith. And there's something about the Northcliffe side in the second half that looks like they definitely up for it. And we need that urgency. We need that little spark from Northcliffe. Is it this time that they're bringing? That was Michali Tungobeni. Finally, they're really spreading that ball and getting their big forwards involved. And as I say that, Hunt, with, the, uh, with a bit of a hospital pass there, this one I mentioned two years ago, we had to finish up at one of the top fields. As that one's gathered at the tail of the line out by Hammond. Gets, goes nice and directs the big number two. This is uh, Michael Wongwu. Is the operator on an advantage now. Mikhail Ngobeni has gone to Hammond on that blind side. Oh, they could be over for their first score here. Yes, and you they bet are. they are. They are indeed through Luke Ross, the left winger. It's taken them some time to get that second try, but just like they started the first half, Simon, mm -hmm. they started the second mm -hmm. half right on fire, oh, right on the yeah. money. I spoke about that need and want. Here comes the replay. Look at that pass, a soft pass to the left wing, Luke Ruas. Kyle Scher was also in the play. Bright, Matthew Bright also assisted, but it's a good score for Luke Ruas and Devanish, the captain. The lock, Hunt. This is Michael Nyogwogu. Hunt again. This time he's oh. found that space and that gap. Oh, here they come now. North of Carl Scher is still moving. He's on his feet. He's brought down now. And they're trying to steal that ball quickly. It's been recovered well by Martoshe Katanga. And they're operating on an advantage for a knock on. Here comes the outside center. Looking to operate and get something creative on that advantage. Michael Ferrit. Hunt. This time he's gone to Michael Nyogwogu. Right on 22. And they could do something with it. Michael now goes for that little grubber behind the back. Hunt and it's being chased by Russ on that other side. You won't get there. And Clifton, they've ended up in the 22 once again. In the blink of an eye. Let's see if Asabonga Chiane, who like Rick, Mr. Simon Rickert has said, has done so well. He's found his jumpers once again. And here comes the mall. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah there you go. Still forward. That looks good. Well, now they'll need to use it. It's going to be picked up by one of the big forwards at the back. That is Mapolo Bongobo. Now it's their flanker, Matthew Roberts. And this to maybe seal the game, Asabonga Gianni wants his share at the pie. Now it's pick up and go. That's the name of the game at the moment for Clifton. They are met with quite some resistance that 
North the back line. Now they go to their back line themselves. Carl Scher, their inside center, is tackled. And there's their mistake. There's the uh, mistake. Uh, Holding and advantage to Northcliffe. With the head, yep. that's exactly what we spoke about earlier. That's the gesture that the referee is making there, and they'll try to play it from deep. Matthew Pretorius receives there the fullback. They want to run it out. There's that kicking mechanism available for them. This is Hammond. A big forward. Hans is available and gearing himself up in the pockets to kick. Oh. He won't get it. They play to the left hand side. Akal now Hunt is in that position. Still now goes to Pretorius. Ruas, the quick speedster. Yeah, the stand and play is not going to work for oh, them. Oh, there's the pickup. There's the steal. There's the youngster from Clifton. And they're back on. Just like that, it's Clifton on the attack once again on the prowl. Asabonga, Gianni, the pig hooker, has made decent headway. This is Simpiwe Ngobo. Oh, oh, there's the sell. There's a dummy by Noble. Who says props can't play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon, there's a saying we use. We say, Mom Nandi, um Nandi. Now nah, he's good. Um, Nandi Kakulu this um, time. Nandi, um, Nandi Mocha, Simon. <laughs> 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 so they still come, Clifton. A couple of meters now. Here we are, and they're over. Oh, there it is. Lozi Matigazela, number two on the day. And that youngster has a brace there, happy on the bench, and Clifton get a second score. Don't think he'll fuss about it either. Let's see Selequao to make it into an 11-point game. He does. He it's does. 21 points to 10 for Clifton. And then the KZN boys, the Natal boys, there's the replay, Simon. Yeah, here we are on that play. It's power play par excellence. It's exactly what we described. Just it explains Loazi Marigzela's storming, bull storming uh, run there. And it is worth five points. Selequa goes out route one for the side. And Northcliffe will come again. There's three minutes left here in this game. Hunt Pretoria's big hit by Marigzela. Oh, wow. He'll feel that one in the morning. And the referee is going into his book into his uh, pocket uh, it would appear so and it i think it may be offside there yeah. if anything and sh shoulders oh. no arms no arms we'll have a replay i'm sure oh, a production so team would say, hey. from one moment you're scoring a try and you're the hero now he receives a yellow card and he'll have to watch from the sidelines from the rest of this one 17 uh, uh, variants of sports codes offered at uh, north cliff and that's interesting that's a bunch to choose from yeah, and Northcliffe still coming on that other side. They're not done just yet, Mr. Rikat, and they've got the score. Oh They're on the money. Goodness. While we were babbling, they were scoring. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the youngster there in jersey number seven, Michael. And uh, who links up with their big forwards, Michali Yeni Ngobeni. It's time at the stadium here since 1 minute 16, 76 seconds to go. And Hunt still no can't get over they still can't get over the points so three tries and all three tries not quite converted simon hunt is still in the hunt for the poles he yep. cannot find it yet unfortunately next time he'll do better but the scoreboard 21 15 and uh, less than two minutes left in fact it's the end it's of the game, game. Yes, it is game over. It is. Clifton, Clifton have their first big victory of 2024, and it's come here at the Saints Easter Festival. They did not win a game at last year's edition of this festival. They're back this year for 2024, 2020 for more. And that ends the first game then here. Game one of 20 done and dusted. They say the theme here of Saints this year is one for all and all for one.